Good morning, good morning, good morning. It is a beautiful day, and I had to make a run to the uh, hardware store to buy some bolts to put up my battery frame, the uh, rack that will be holding my batteries. The batteries, there's 12 of them, and they weigh about 110 pounds a piece, so it adds up to quite a bit of weight pretty quick. So I'm putting them on with half inch bolts and these are supposed to be the best bolts you can buy. They're expensive. So, uh, <laughs> uh, and uh, I'm going to torque them on there and that should hold it up just fine. Um, because it's on four different uh, attachments to the frame, that means that each each one will only hold about 500 pounds. I think these bolts are going to do just wonderfully. Uh, let's see. So here is a bolt. Whoa! Here's a bolt and uh, the nut and a couple washers on there. So that's what will be holding the batteries. Um, for my electrical in my bus and I'm very excited to be getting this part of my bus completed to get the, the electrical working um, that'll feel really good okay I'm going to be drilling the holes to uh, mount this uh, rack for the batteries and uh, I'm using a quarter inch drill bit first uh, just as a pilot hole and then I'm going to be using this 1732nd and um, uh, it's just it will be a little bit have a little bit of room because what I'm putting in is I'm putting in a uh, these bolts are a full half inch so so I don't have to uh, is I'm giving it a 32nd of an inch uh, play in there so that I can get these bolts through without a problem so here we go, I'm going to drill some holes and what I'm using so it doesn't jerk my hand off is a, uh, a 90 degree uh, drill. It's a uh, Milwaukee. I've had it for lots of years and so that's what I'll be using um, to drill these holes. Oh, I'm, uh, I got some cutting oil just in case uh, I don't want to get these want to get these things too hot so I have some cutting oil here but I will just put that actually I'll just put that on my bit rather than uh, in the hole and it will help keep the bit a little bit cool uh, and it will also It'll also lubricate it slightly so that we can uh, get the job done a little easier, a little quicker. There we go. Steel is just a whole lot harder than wood. Isn't that amazing?
Okay, so next we'll go through with this drill bit and then I'll be ready to put my bolts in. I just have eight of those to do. <laughs> okay, so I've drilled the pilot holes. They're already already done. And uh, so now I'm going to start drilling with the uh, big 7 16 inch bit. Uh, I know it's not easy, but it's just something that has to be done. Do the first part. the second part. Okay. So we're going to put our bolt in here. I'm going to go from the inside. That way I can get my uh, my impact wrench on the outside. No problem. Okay. I probably made it look harder than it actually is <laughs> but uh, probably be a lot easier for you well I'm sitting in the sauna right now and I try not to put anything negative and I don't think this is really negative but I have to 
tell you, drilling those holes, I only drilled four of them today, and drilling those holes was a whole lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Uh, there's no leverage, nothing to, uh, uh, nothing to put your back against, nothing to hang on to. It's just really hard to drill those. So I ended up using a uh, rope and a uh, piece of tuba two uh, to kind of create a lever effect. Uh, to drill the the holes. I didn't show that on there. A little embarrassed that I couldn't push that uh, half inch bit or uh, whatever it was, 17 30 seconds bit through uh, through that metal. So I did struggle with it, but I do have four of them. Count them. One, two, three, four. I do have four of them through. I've got the other side to do. I guess tomorrow we'll get that thing all all hooked up and ready for the battery. So just took a little longer than I thought it would. I thought I'd be able to just push those right through. But even making a quarter inch pilot hole, it still is a whole lot of work. I'm sitting in my sauna right now, uh, heating my shoulder up a, a little bit uh, so I can have me a good night's sleep tonight. And I just want to say thank you to you guys that watch and the, you guys that com comment. And I wanted to address the comments a little bit. I really appreciate the comments. I have to say, sometimes if I'm doing something um, uh, that might not look right to you, uh, don't worry, just tell me. It's not a problem. Uh, I, <laughs> I can get over it quick. And uh, not only that, it makes me rethink it and makes me decide whether or not I'm doing it right or wrong and I definitely want to do it right you know this is going to be our home this is going to be a place where uh, we're going to be uh, living for a while we're going to be driving lots of miles having lots of fun and I don't want to have uh, uh, second thoughts or questions about it I just want to do it right so again I want to say thank you and I want to say thank you for watching and uh, we're going to have a good time over these next uh, uh, 20 years together okay Okay, <laughs> bye-bye.